Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey guys, this is Tapan from technology and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows Server 2016 on your virtual box. So you just need to follow me. So first of all, you need to download the ISO file of Windows Server 2016, which I have already downloaded on my computer. So if you want to download this uh, ISO file, uh, from the official website you can check out my this video i will give you that link to my video description also you have to download a virtual box on your computer so you have to go to this website is called virtualbox.org and after that click on download virtualbox 5.2 which is the latest version of virtualbox and after that click on this windows host and it will download on automatically on your computer after that you have to install virtualbox on your computer and after install yeah you will get a uh, scale like this so you have to click on new and after that you have to put any name over there like I will put here Windows Server 2012 after, uh, sorry 16 so after uh, you will put uh, Windows Server 2016 you can see the version is automatically changed over there so after that you have to click on next and after that you, you have to assign a memory means RAM size for your Windows Server 2016 and after that you have to click on next now click on create and then next now click on next and then create you can assign the memory for your virtual machine so I will uh, choose like uh, 40 GB create after that and now you have to click on start button okay so after that you have to select the ISO file from here just click over there and select the ISO file which we have downloaded or already on from the Microsoft official website and after that you have to click on start button now as you can see the file is loading so it will take some time so now you have to select your operating system so core means the CMD mode terminal mode and standard the normal mode the graphical interface so you have to click on next and after that click on I accept the license term and after that you have to click on custom and then click on new and then apply after that click on ok now you have to click on next and have to wait for some time to copy windows files So now you have to put the password for your Windows Server 2016 and after that you have to click on finish. So I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one next video. Take care.